Stephen A., let me ask you this. I know this one's personal for you. You're a diehard Steelers fan. Mm -hmm. You're giving them a pass this season, right? No, I'm not. I'm not giving them a pass. First of all, the Steelers don't look very good right now. Um, their season is over. It's done. It's finished. I'm over it. Okay, I'm just. I, I said it the second <laughs> Ben went down. So moved ain't on. no way in hell they win. They getting. They ain't getting to the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? They ain't winning the division. They ain't gonna be no wild card. I don't even know if they're gonna have a winning record. I'm just telling you that right now. That's how I feel about it. Okay. <sighs> and I know that they just acquired Micah Fitzpatrick. I wasn't happy with that. I wasn't happy the fact that they gave up a first round pick for him. First of all, I don't know if you're a first round pick. I know you got picked eleventh overall. All right, I know I loved you when you was at Alabama Roll Tide, baby. You but should be happy with Minka. Listen, I know he can play. I'm not questioning his ability to play. But I am questioning you didn't want to play corner in Miami. Now, that doesn't mean that you might not be willing to do it. But where your passion lies matter, bro. Yeah. And the fact of the matter is if you didn't want to play cornerback, it maybe it was because you was contaminated by being a Dolphin. I get that. But you did not want to play the cornerback position. So why should I be excited about that? And you gave up a first-round pick for this brother? It's, it reeks of desperation. And they are desperate. Now, let's be clear. They ain't going to playoffs. They ain't winning. I can't see it. But in terms of them getting a pass, here's why they can't get a pass. Because of all the stuff that happened in the post in the offseason. You see, Antonio Brown... I believe, has engaged in very clownish behavior over the last several weeks. As a black man, I was embarrassed by how he conducted himself. I'm not talking about who he is. Yeah. I'm not talking about his character. His I'm talking about how his, his mm -hmm. actions when he was in Oakland, they were embarrassing. Mm -hmm. And for those that don't understand, listen, in our society here, the, you know, the few can contaminate the many. When you are a black man and you're in certain positions and you act clownish, then people tend to believe a lot of folks act like that. That's why I took it personally, and I ain't apologizing that for all of you sorry behinds out there who think I should go to hell. Now, having said smoke, all of that, smoke, smoke. having said all of that, Antonio's a bad brother now. I don't get it twisted. He left. He wanted out. Le'Veon Bell's a bad brother, Max. He left. He wanted out. Okay? You, Mike Tomlin, said, quote, we want volunteers, not hostages. Well, you got a whole bunch of volunteers. And by the way, before Ben went down, you got blitzed by 30 on opening night of the NFL season. It was against the reigning defensive Super Bowl champions. But damn it, you didn't have to lose by 30. And you were losing to Seattle, okay? So I'm looking at it from the standpoint that it's not like the Steelers got a good running game. James Conner looks horrible thus far. Mr. James Conner, you don't look that impressive right now. Get it together. Juju smith Juju, you're a number one receiver. Love that, brother. But you don't look like a number one receiver right now. Ben Roethlisberger wasn't looking too damn good, okay? And don't get me started with that defense. These are a myriad of problems. So even though Big Ben goes down, the fact of the matter is I still need to see the rest of the team playing like Steelers are supposed to be playing. Let me look at them and go like this. All right. They don't have Big Ben. They got Mason Rudolph. I'm good. I'll give them a pass then. But I ain't going to give you a pass if everything else around you stinks and you're going to sit up there and say, oh, it's because of Ben not here. Nah, that ain't happening. Um, as usual, Tomlin and the Steelers suffer by a comparison to the Patriots. They got smoked opening day, opening game, because the Patriots are way better. Tomlin's a great coach. He is not near, not even in the same league as Bill Belichick. Belichick's embarrassing the league. He's embarrassing the best coaches in football. And Tomlin is one of them. He may be his chief rival. I mean, he doesn't, Belichick doesn't have a rival, but Tomlin may be gotten as close in terms of success as possible. That's, they're measuring against Belichick. Here he's being measured against Belichick again if you don't give him a pass. You're saying, well, Bill Belichick can take a backup quarterback, guys who don't succeed in other places, guys you never heard of, Sam, uh, Sam Cassell. <laughs> See, Matt yeah. Castle, yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt Castle, and and like win, and then yeah, but Matt, what did Matt Castle do after that? It's Belichick. He is the best of all time by far, including everyone who ever lived. That doesn't mean everyone or anyone else can do that. I was, I didn't think the Steelers were going to make the playoffs this year before the season started. Maybe an eight and eight kind of team. They didn't make it last year. And I was looking forward to seeing what would happen because wrong. And, and I didn't blame Roethlisberger at first. This is an Antonio Brown problem. But when Le'Veon Bell started chirping about Roethlisberger, I thought, wait a minute. People are saying the same thing here. Okay, Roethlisberger, what you got? Tomlin enables it. Roethlisberger's the quarterback. Let's see what you got. You're going to be better without the two, two of the best who ever did it. Let's see what you got. 
I wasn't going to give them a pass for this season because they lost those guys. They have Juju Smith-Schuster. They have Connor. Okay. But when the starting quarterback goes down and he's a future Hall of Famer, of course you get a pass on the season. Now, you still have to see if Mason Rudolph has an NFL future. You got to see if Tomlin can develop him and win at least a half dozen games, let's say, with that guy. Mm -hmm. But you can't now say the expectations are the same. Hey, let me see you make the playoffs. Hey, let me see this team have a winning record. The, the starting QB, which is the whole shooting match on that team, went down. Of course they get a pass. Yeah, but this is the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's the point that Stephen A. is trying to make. You're supposed to be prepared for this. And because of last year is my issue as well. Because when you think about this, all of the moves that were made, sacrificing Le'Veon Bell, getting rid of A.B., is because of seven. Right? That, that is why the Pittsburgh Steelers felt comfortable enough to say, hey, we can let two of the best players in the NFL go because of our quarterback. Now you lose your quarterback. So now you put the microscope directly on how you build a football team. I would venture to say this, and this is not to take anything away from Ben Roethlisberger. I would venture to say that Ben has – he walked into a perfect situation – as a quarterback, I, it can't get any better. You got Jerome Bettis and Hines Ward in, in your offensive room with one of the best offensive line. You got Troy Palomalu over there on the defensive Blacks side in the locker room. Plexico. But what I'm saying is we, we think about Ben. Ben, for the majority of his career, has played with prolific football players. Not just good guys. He's played with Hall of Famers his entire career with the Pittsburgh Steelers. The two guys, the one guy that's playing for the Jets, potentially a Hall of Famer. A.B. will be a Hall of Famer, depending on how all of this situation plays out. Here's the deal for me, and when I look at the Pittsburgh Steelers, I say to myself, for as long as this franchise has existed, one player has never determined how successful they would be. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.